what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today we're doing a what's in my bag braider edition where i'll show you guys the two bags that i rotate between when i go to travel appointments so let's just get straight into the video disclaimer before i introduce both bags and show what's in them i am a full-time home stylist i mainly take majority of my clients at home i have been getting requests from this for this video just a few here and there since starting my youtube journey going on two years ago now and at the height of the pandemic when i first started my channel i wasn't traveling at all that's why i didn't do this video but now that i'm taking clients um every day and uh i may have one or two travel clients a week uh clients who i travel to per week this is the perfect time to do this video but i did want to throw out there that i mainly do hear from home do hear from home excuse me because i'm assuming that the people asking for this video ask for it because you're thinking about going on the road being mobile and going to your clients and so i just want to say what i have in my bag is a small percentage compared to what you may need if you're doing um travel appointments full time um everything i have you're also going to need i'm just saying you may need twice as much or triple that you want to make sure you have an abundance of things if you're going from house to house to house so i just want to throw that out there but other than that we can get straight into the video so i'm gonna introduce both bags this bag i believe came from ross and it was in the beauty section so right in between like purses and shoes um it's over there where you will find the actual flat irons uh brushes like all of the beauty supply wear and it was the tag on it was listed as like a makeup um organizer so this mainly would be for like muas or if you're traveling and want to hold your makeup or toiletries but my business mind and just being someone who likes to keep my stuff organized i looked at it and thought of it to be like a perfect bag to take to travel appointments so braiders if you're starting out and you're looking for bags and you're just like um what can i use or what do i want i feel like this would be the perfect bag also like trunks they have like the compartment trunks i'll put an example of what i'm talking about on the screen a lot of these are advertised for muas but when you open them it's so much space in between each level gets deeper and deeper where you do have room for our tools as well i think some people assume that because makeup artists use brushes and like little small thin tools that with us um with deep um heavy bottles and things of that nature uh the compartmentalized little bags like this won't fit our stuff but it definitely does i have a good amount of stuff in this bag um this like i said is my everyday bag the bag that i'm gonna show y'all next is one that i take very seldomly to appointments um this one can get the job done my knotless braids my faux locks my soft locks um traditional box braids crochet styles all of that stuff can be achieved with everything that's in this bag alone so my advice uh, would just be to check out the makeup aisle and um, the aisle with the makeup bags makeup organizers toiletry bags and get you something like this the trunks are really cute the one that i put on the screen um they're really nice but they're heavy already themselves when you lift them in the store because i thought about getting one of those they're already heavy and for the amount of products that you're going to need to fill that trunk um you want to be kind of cautious about that because if you're anything like me and my clients when i travel to their homes a lot of them stay in apartments where i'm climbing flights of stairs i'm carrying my lunch if i'm going to be there for hours my drink a big old bag and if it's heavy that just makes going up and down stairs even worse so i got this one because it's soft it's light and with my products in it it don't weigh much at all so let's just get right into what's in the bag again this came from ross and i believe it was 9.99 so very cheap um, they have stuff like this on Amazon. If you're an online shopper, you don't like to go into the stores, but it'd be twice the price. This little thing, what I guess it's just to check your makeup, um, again, because it's a makeup bag. But yeah, it's very sparkly. I love it. I would prefer it to be purple. Y'all already know that, but I'm a girly girl. So pink, I will, I can get away with pink too. So, um the name of the brand is called carriage mate in case that y'all want to look and see if they have a site um 
in case y'all are really interested in this particular bag and may not be able to find it in Ross because y'all know Ross if y'all don't catch stuff right then and there you may never see it again if you want to um look up this brand that's the name of it but this is the very first compartment and up top here in this zipper portion I have like scrunchy section and tools so clamps like right here I have a clamp hanging on right here so when I'm parting and stuff I just move hair out of the way with a clip like that and i think y'all can kind of see through the net i have claws i don't know if y'all could see that through the net or not um but that this is the same type of claw in purple scrunchies and hair ties and things like that so when i'm uh section and moving hair out of the way i have i have stuff for that so that's what this is up here and then right below that are tools so i have a whole little layout of combs some of this stuff needs to be clean um before going to my next appointment my next travel appointment i just did one yesterday so all this stuff needs to be disinfected today but i have a um detangling brush a crochet hook um scissors and a bunch of other combs i also do lock style so i have like an interlocking pick and then also what would go in this compartment that's not in here right now i have to pick that up in a second i'm not getting off this bed <laughs> um what also would go in this compartment that's not in here right now i would put in this zipper is like nail glue to seal the ends of my lock styles faux lock soft locks things of that nature i keep about four to five of those in here but i just left an appointment where i had to do soft locks and i went through every bottle so i don't have any in here right now but heading to my next appointment i would stop by the hair store and load this up with that so make sure that you have all of that that's just level one though this um bag has three levels so let me zip this up so don't nothing else fall out and then we're gonna go into compartment number two i think i said i was gonna show y'all both bags first and then show us in them but let's just move on um in the second compartment i'm gonna do it like this trying not to drop anything I have a big spool of thread and about four or five needles. I do crochet styles. I bring latch hooks or sewing thread for that. I also do sew-ins very seldomly. Um, so that's what this is for. Um, I also have hand sanitizer in this compartment for whatever reason. I have edge control. This is to do the baby hairs. Um, this is a shining gem with shea butter um, for edges. That's what this is. This is a finishing product, finishing mousse by Shining Gem as well. This is my new gem. Love it, love it, love it. It really does relax the hair. It relaxes the braids. And it's a little cheaper than the other Shining Gem I've showed y'all in my essential tools. I have a whole video for all of the tools I use, whether I'm at home traveling or not. There's a video I'll link down below with all of my essential products. And I showed y'all a mousse in that video that I really love, but this one has become a new favorite. That video is probably a year old now. This one is my current favorite, and it has the matching edge control, so we love aesthetics. And then I have my little braid band. One thing about it, y'all, it is never, ever, ever sanitary to take a comb and dig it in and in, um, in and out of braiding product. I'm about to show y'all the braiding wax, but y'all already know if you're a braider watching this, what that looks like. But when opening a container of braiding wax and you're about to do braids, you don't want to keep sticking the comb in the product and then you're going to the next head and sticking a comb in that same product so you want to remove a good amount of the braid and wax put it on a braid band or you can flip the lid of the braid and wax and put it on a lid and take your comb and dig from there um but it's good to have one of these it's convenient too and then in compartment number three is my actual braid and waxes this is what i was saying you're gonna need um at every braid appointment but instead of just taking a comb out of here and digging the comb as you part digging the comb as you part you don't want to do that because even if you're not reusing that comb on the next client's head you're reusing this product and then even if you're sticking a new comb in this product you're digging back behind that er oh dirty comb so that little wristband or like flipping the lid and having this clean and putting um wax on here that is the best way to go so this one is about empty y'all i can probably get through maybe half an appointment with what's left in this uh, container but i have a second one 
I have another shining gem for edges in here. Um, some actual gem. And a couple extra little small edge controls. And I have another foam mousse by BTL down here. So this bigger compartment, the biggest one, can hold a good amount of stuff, y'all. You would never know all of the stuff in here. And these are pretty big. These are pretty large containers. This is the largest shining gem that they sell in stores. And it fits in here. Two of them are down in here. So this is a pretty big um toll tree bag uh and it works out perfect for me so definitely consider taking one of these i used to use a backpack at one point i had this just this duffel bag i'm about to show y'all alone and it was just super big just with the bag so huge just scooting around moving things around trying to find what i need this bag is small and compact but it holds enough space to get everything in there where i can just dig my hand in there and pull stuff straight out and second i want to show y'all my it's the second bag I'm going to show y'all, but it's my first baby. I've had this bag maybe about six years now. Um, and this is a rolling bag. It's a duffel bag on wheels, as you can see. So when it hits the ground, you can pull it. A bag on wheels is really efficient. I got this from these discount, um, like I said, going on six years ago now. So I'm pretty sure it's not in stores anymore, but they may have something similar to it. Dee Dee's little duffel bag or book bag out is always stocked with really cute bags. Um, it's hard to find one on wheels. I really looked up with this one. This one was $10 as well, y'all. $9.99, both of these bags. $9.99 at Ross and $9.99 at Diddy's discount. I would never forget it because I seen it and I was like, whoa, like this is nice. And this other lady was on the aisle getting two of them they had like a white iridescent one and i want to say a black iridescent one and then this pink one she had got two of them in two different colors and she said she had two girls in dance um her little girls was in ballet she kind of looked over at me like you at your big age getting a bag like this and she was like yeah i love these bags i'm getting them for my girls their recitals are coming up i looked on amazon and they do have some rolling duffel bags but they can start anywhere they start at 30 dollars and go up from there ten dollars y'all so check out dd's Dee discount also check out ross you never know what you may come across marshall's tj maxx department stores like that walmart has rolling duffel bags um but again they can get a lot pricier so Dee Dee's Dee discount this bag stays in my house most days now i only take it to appointments where i need all of the tools that are in here but those appointments come around seldomly or maybe like later in the year so in here are all of my hot tools, flat irons, um, wands, crimp irons, blow dryers. These are for like silk press appointments, blowout services, sew-in services. For those random appointments um, that need me to come to them, um, the hot tools, I have to have them on deck uh, because with every sew-in service, I include curls as a little bonus thing. So I have all of my hot tools. I'm not going to pull them all out. Y'all know what that stuff looks like. I have my big crimp iron. I have the same identical one, uh, but it's purple and it's smaller for tight, smaller crimps. I have my um, mini flat irons. These are for like flat ironing baby hairs. Um, my wands. My flat irons. Uh, I showed y'all this one blow dryer and things of that nature uh for the services that i just named oh this hair gets on my nerves it's so big but um and then i also have a cape this i just used for a sew-in i was taking down a sew-in um so you want to put a cape on your client to protect them if they have any flaking any thread shedding if you braided their hair down with weave anything that might shed from their hair this needs to go into the um, laundry to wash i also have an apron for myself when i'm doing quick weaves and working with glue and things like that um y'all know once glue gets in your clothes it will not come out so i like to put on an apron when going to appointments or doing quick weaves at home too just protecting my clothes um, so that's also in this bag. And then I have this little mini little zipper bag. This is by BB. So I believe it probably probably came from Marshalls or Ross. And inside here, I just have a couple of products. Blowout lotion. Uh-oh. Blowout lotion. This is the lotion I like to use for blowouts and silk press. It's by Lotta Body. It gets the job done. Always um, has the hair really bouncy and flowy. A lot of volume. 
this is a disinfectant spray y'all blowing down i'm not blowing down spraying down my blow dryers my flat irons wiping them down um i also have another spray bottle for curly hair like if i'm installing a quick weave or a sew in like what i may have now if somebody request a style like this i want to spray the curly hair down get it nice and um luscious and soft and juicy get the curls looking real nice so i have a spray bottle with some leave-in conditioner and water as well um some oil to oil the scalp i have bonding glue um and then like little combs and stuff the tangling combs i also have wig caps in here if the client didn't buy their own, I keep a couple of those on deck and also just section and clamps and scrunchies in this bag as well. And so, like I said, every blue moon, I may have somebody to ask me for um, blowout services, silk press or sew-ins or quick weaves. And that's what this bag is for, going to someone's home and needing all of these things. Uh, so... This is my baby as well, but this is my main go-to for the braider braiders that don't do nothing else. This is all you really gonna need. The only thing else that I may mention, that I want to mention, that I did that I do not have in these bags that you may end up needing are things like chargers, of course, the obvious stuff. If you're gonna be at a client's house for a long extended Okay. I got a client in an hour and he's texting me telling me that he's about to leave work but um your chargers you want to have a snack like a couple of ziploc bags or containers with a little snack in there um your client gets lunch and they be stopping the snack so don't starve yourself have um something to put your snacks in a jacket a lot of my clients keep their house super cold and if y'all know me y'all know i'm super cold nature i can be in a someone's house anywhere from Anything below 74 degrees is super cold to me for an AC to be running below 74 degrees. I get super cold. Um, I like to keep a jacket because I don't want anyone to be uncomfortable sweaty in their home just because I'm cold natured. So jackets. I also, when going to dorms, like I travel to college campuses to do hair, I also sometimes bring my kettle um, because depending on the dorm, they may or may not have kitchen. They may or may not have access to the stove at the time if their roommates are cooking or whatever may be going on with their living circumstances. I bring my kettle because I can just plug it into the wall as long as they have an outlet. I put my water um, on an outlet, heat the water up, and I'm able to dip their ends. Again, I talked to, talk to y'all about nail glue. Those weren't in either, either of my bags, but y'all are going to need nail glue. And I think that's about it, y'all. Um, that's pretty much everything that I take to my travel appointments. If you're a traveling braider and there's something that you may take or you may find useful when going to people's homes that I didn't mention that you can offer to me like, or suggest to me or to anybody that's watching this that may come across the comments, put your suggestions down below. But that pretty much wraps up this video, y'all. I'm going to give y'all a second look at the bags for inspiration. If y'all are shopping around, um... To put your business on the road this is a compartmentalized bag that i got from ross in the makeup toe tree bag section and this i got in the little suitcase purse section um at dd's Dee discount so love these bags oh y'all how could i forget the braiding rack i said i ran through that stuff too quick what did i forget and it's the braiding rack. This is essential these days with knotless styles and feed-in styles. You got to have a braiding rack. It's going to help you get through your appointment so much smoother. This is my new braiding rack. Y'all would know this already. I introduced this in my latest vlog um, this past week. I went and got this because my wooden braiding rack broke. But this honestly is the one that I want to suggest from here on out to anybody who's traveling. Um, it is this, what do they call it? glitter hair rack glitter braiding hair rack by btl it's a company called braid twist and knots you can check out their website but um i believe this is a 60 spool rack, 60 or 70 spools and it opens up like this you can sit it on any surface and it has these little suctioning suctioning things 
this is the main reason why I suggest it now and why um, I'm in love with it over my latest braiding rack that recently broke. It can just plop down and suck onto any surface that you put it on. And so it'll prevent the braiding rack from sliding around my wooden braiding rack. I would sit it down on a surface and if the hair got too heavy or I knocked against it, maybe my hips hit the table or something, the braiding rack would slide. Um, a couple of times it has fell, I've lost hair and that was really genius for them to think of that. Um, so now I have no fear when racking this that it'll stay in place. And it was, I believe, $17.99. So hopefully y'all can find this in your nearest hair store or on BTO's website. They have it in pink and purple. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to need a braiding rack. And that concludes this video. But that wraps up. I thought some goes on my shirt. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed or found some useful information. I hope the ones that requested this video got what they needed from the video. And y'all let me know down below what y'all want to see. I'm going to start rolling out more girl talk soon. I need to plan out what my girl talk braider videos are going to be about. What advice I want to share with you all coming soon. So leave me some suggestions so while I'm thinking about stuff I can add your ideas in. Definitely want to give out more tutorials. Y'all have been asking for tutorials. I want to see work. I want to see you teach us something like more so than hearing me talk. So I need to incorporate more tutorials in my braider in my girl talks coming soon. So yeah, make sure you leave me a comment down below of anything, anything that you can possibly think of that you may be struggling with as it pertains to life as a braider. And if I can help, I'll definitely shoot that video out to you as soon as possible. But until then, I love you all and see you in the next video. Why do I do this? <laughs> I need to grow up. Bye, y'all.